Oh, look at this hunky motherfucker. All right. Enter Eric. Eric stage stage left. left. She, he, he said stud. some interesting things because I, I listened to most of it. Mm. But he's like, I knew something was up when she casted this guy to play yeah. like a dorky loser character. She's I have like, that. So, um, yeah. This is Eric Stocklin. Before Haters Back Off, he had little roles on TV shows, not really like major parts. Um, after he cast it, uh, after Colleen casted Eric, um, Josh said that he was confused because. Eric's character, Patrick, was supposed to be the male version of Miranda Sings. So, like, they were bringing in people who were not conventionally attractive, people who were, like, supposed to be gross. And she was just pushing and pushing for this actor, Eric, who, like, doesn't have a... Like, Angela Kinsey from The Office was in the show. So, like, there were people with credits on this production. Mm -hmm. But she really liked this guy. Yeah. And he said it didn't make much sense to him why I cast him. Right. Um, I have the link to that if you want to watch that. Yeah, part. I'll watch it real fast. Uh, I saw Eric, which is her husband now. Mm -hmm. Those eyes. Uh, right after I got off that phone call with you, and I, I told him, oh, well, I just got yelled at by, by my husband for 15 minutes. Is that something that you, you felt was happening often, that she would go to him and share details of your relationship? I don't know if she thought I was blind, but I saw it from the beginning when she cast him. I remember all the other people that went through the cycle of that audition circuit. That character was supposed to be not conventionally like a good looking guy. Mm -hmm. And when she started, you know, wanting him, I thought he's kind of he's kind of a good looking dude. You want him to play this character that's supposed to be like the the yeah. male Miranda? And I thought I can't say I, I can't say anything. She's gonna think I'm jealous. She's gonna think I'm con nothing worse in a relationship when they're like, "You don't worry about this person," and then they end up cheating on on you right. with them. Those are the best parts of relationships. So, Those, yeah. Josh then talks about in the first few weeks of their relationship, first few months, he actually said that there was a tiff of possible cheating that happened, mm. where he found messages. So this is. Way this is long right. Ago. This is 2009. I was always interesting. He's uncomfortable with Eric and her relationship. Anytime I had an inkling, do you have a thing for that person? It only happened like three or four times, but every single time I had an inkling, it happened. Sorry, when you say it happened, are you are you saying that she had cheated multiple times, like with different people, or in the first three months of us dating? I had this weird feeling in my gut that we were exclusive. We were saying, I love you. It was this whirlwind romance. I had this feeling in my gut that something wasn't right. I didn't know what it was. And I did a foul thing. She walked out, she was doing something. She left the apartment and I pulled up the laptop that she was on and I read some Facebook private messages that she had been sending. And I saw it, this part and I'm throwing my well, heart. She, I mean, ultimately, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't go through your partner's Agree. stuff. Um, however, it did happen with this same guy again a few weeks later. Or really? Few later. Yeah. So That sucks, though. I mean, I've never suspected I was being cheated on like that. I guess if I really was paranoid, I might do that. I've never done that. You've done that? No. That's a crazy thing to oh, do. Oh, but if you suspect that like your partner's cheating on you, I guess maybe. I don't know. I, I honestly, It's never a good idea. I've never had the the urge to check a phone just because I, I don't think I can get away with it. Also not cool, but it's also just, I don't think I can get away with it. It's not a good idea for anybody ever. That summer before she went for Eric, Adam told this story. She went for this guy who was the director of Haters Back Off. Wait, and apparently she, she wanted him. And she was posting Snapchat stories and Instagram stories that Josh references in the swoop video that he was obviously very uncomfortable with. And so she was she, like- she was trying to hook up with the director first? Yeah. Hmm. And there were Snapchats that- there. She would post them. I remember watching the Snapchats of her like running down a hallway chasing him and like giggling and i was like who the f who is this guy and i remember being confused about it and it's just so interesting that josh is bringing it up hmm. things knowing that i had verbally said that makes me uncomfortable hey i saw on your 
insta story like you're really flirting really heavy with your director for your netflix show like it's there for everyone to see it's yeah and if your partner has the courage to confide that in you then you definitely need to take that seriously too if it makes it you know because it, if it's unreasonable that's one thing but it seems like there was some cause for yeah and like this here. this uh where is it latent flirtation the, the link and then that to would, that the video of the director um that was reposted cross posted on the haters back off which is the actual like instagram for their tv show so like a that video of into... her like giggling and like going up close at her Why? director i don't know huh. me being controlling when i'm just sitting here going you're flirt you you're not just like having fun you are flirting and chasing this man down it's like me the comments are saying that you're flirting she knew the things that didn't make me feel great and she would do them anyway she's wrong okay, so she's she's flirting with the director should i watch this one Call yeah let me hear what following she following him around like flirting with him and stuff this is she when he tells the story she wanted that i mean he was you know he was hot so i mean credit where credit is due oh wait someone sent me something <gasps> here it is oh i want to see this yeah here it is Oh, I'm Jesus, excited. I, get I just tell stories and the proof finds me. <laughs> she wanted that. Before she wanted Eric, she wanted this. Do it again. Okay, let me just try and get into the character. Okay. Oh my god. Because he didn't. Oh well. <laughs> He's pretending to do Miranda. <laughs> she wanted that. Do it again. Okay, she wanted that. Okay. Oh, oh my god, Bree remembers it. <laughs> Bree was in the weenies. She wanted That's that it? Andrea And then C. that night, it, the Snapchats, mm -hmm. I mean, Snapchat goes away after 24 hours and I couldn't find a re-up. But she was chasing him down a hall and then like going at the, at the end, like she c catches up to him and they're like giggling. And it was like, just what the, what are you doing? And the fact that her husband did show like discomfort in it beforehand, like it's just why, why, why are you, why do it? Okay. Why participate in something that clearly makes your husband uncomfortable? She seems to hate him, based on what yeah. I like. But it, she seems to just not like him. She yeah, and there are there are clearly like times where people are just paranoid, and it's like you're being you're not trusting your partner right now. This was like she was clearly on the prowl to find someone. It seems like that's I don't get it. Just break up with your I don't know. Let's keep going because it gets worse. VidCon story. Josh is recounting. Yeah. Let's take and then we'll watch Colleen's. Yes. There was a there was a time right before the divorce happened, and it was um, VidCon, and she didn't stay at VidCon very long. She, at that point, kind of thought, "I'm I'm bigger and better than this." Well, I loved it, but she left and went back to our our house that we had. Someone communicated and relayed to me, "Hey, while you're out at VidCon." She's having a few people over to the house. And I was like, who? And they said, Eric, Corey and a romantic interest, and Rachel and her boyfriend at the time. And I just thought it was weird. And so I was supposed to spend the night that night near VidCon because it was a long drive. Mm -hmm. Something in my gut said, no, go back home. So I finished the show. I didn't tell her and I got in the car and I drove back. She kept messaging me like, are, are you in your hotel room? Where are you? Where are you? And within the like last probably 15 minutes or so of the drive, I came clean and I said, I'm actually almost home. This was so disappointing. Why did he do that? I know. I, don't, I, I wanted to ask him because like. I'm curious too. He blew, if this story is true, the way he told it, it sounds like he was going to catch her in the act. But he. Right. He blew it 15 minutes well, imagine, before he got there. I mean, I'm sure he was anticipating how much, how painful that would be. But I would want to know. I mean, he's been driving that whole time. Yeah. I don't know. And also, it's so easy to be like, hey, surprise, sweetheart. Like, it doesn't even hey, look surprise, bad. surprise, sweetheart. You're like, hey, yeah. I just wanted to come home and be with you. It's like. Yeah. But he knew what not he was going to find. For him. It feels like. Yeah. Mm. And when I walked through those doors, it reeked of alcohol and cigarettes. And no one was there. 
Nobody was there. And then I went upstairs, and she was sitting on our bed playing her ukulele. I could tell she was, she, she, had, she had some drinks in her, no big deal, have a drink, it's her house. Mm -hmm. She smelled of smoke, and I was like, what's going on, where is everybody? Oh, they had to go, they had to leave. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, just the red flags were popping off in my head, like why, why Bro, would you- Bro, why did you tell her? Why? Okay, so that's that, right? Now let me see what Colleen says about that day. Interesting. Yeah, I found a Christopher. I'm here. And a Jessica. She's here. And a Corey. And I, we have a Rachel. And look who I found. Look who I found. Eric Stocklin. Eric Stocklin. Wow. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that didn't even seem. Shout out to Eric for having an affair with a married woman, too. Right. He apparently at this time had a girlfriend. Oh, so double whammy. She, tell, she told Josh, uh, after he said, have fun fucking Eric and or I hope you think about me when you're fucking Eric in our bed. Apparently she was like, it's not like that. He has a girlfriend is what her right. response was to that. Song. Eric is playing Miranda's best friend. And then I got married and had a baby. Um, he Three. back off and he is one of the coolest dudes in the world. So that's uh -uh. exciting. And we're going to go take pictures I don't with want... myself. I see lust in those eyes. I'm sorry. My, the one of the coolest dudes in the world. I don't want my girl talking about any dude like that. Yeah. Maybe I'm secure. I don't know. Yeah. He's I'm the coolest. coolest. He's like a hot dude that she's spending all this time. He's the coolest dude in the world. Fuck that. And at this point, he's voiced. I'm the voiced. coolest dude in the world. Yeah, fuck that. Um, at this point, he's literally voiced that he feels uncomfortable with her flirting with people. Mm -hmm. Right. Because oh, that's a normal thing. She just didn't that's care, it. it seems like. That's it. Well, it, it's just the day goes by and she spends it with Eric and Josh is nowhere to be found. That was the content cop song. Yeah, and it's just she she You're left right. it all out. Okay. That is pretty, I agree. I mean, that's pretty sussy. If you want to see, they're like, like in a car together. all about that. Fine, to each his own. However, he vlogged in Christopher's vlog, and he wouldn't vlog in mine. And now he's like refusing. He won't even like let me show him. So We're I'm so cute my together. Follow me. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't like it. It's Hell just, bad. yeah. Not very nice. If I saw my significant other doing all this, no. It would make me feel very bad. Especially after a conversation. Right. 